game with with Taco was really good the other day. Oh yeah, didn't didn't he like debate uh JL? Pretty sure I saw one of those fucking videos he on Crush JL. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think he has never shown good arguments uh, to back up his disbelief in God. Mm. Something uh, Otangelo, Otangelo. Something I would have added to what JL was talking about submitting papers. Um, read up on the APA style. Um, that's Alpha Papa Alpha, um, and that will tell you about how to format the documents so that it'll be more easily accepted by academia, because uh, that's the format that they like stuff in for a lot of this stuff. That'll that'll be helpful to you. <clears throat> but you know, I I I will. Um, um, I don't think it is needed for me to present peer-reviewed papers because basically what I am doing is taking a peer extant peer-reviewed papers already and then I just um, make an inference to the best explanation, which for me is intelligent design and creationism. And that can so, always be disputed. So I don't, I don't know why my philosophical inference should be subdued to to uh, peer review. So it's not about submitting peer reviewed papers. It's about submitting something for peer review. Because if what you uh, submit passes the muster of peer review, then your idea gets greater credibility, and you gain greater credibility. So that that's something to aspire to. People in the scientific community want that. You know, I don't think that I am um, such an inventive person to come, in, to come up with new things. What I defend is what every intelligent designer um, defends. So maybe um, I have some arguments which I base on my studies, but uh, which maybe others don't don't come up with because they've not studied certain uh, aspects um, of biochemistry and so forth. But I would say in a general sense, what I defend is um, what uh, every other creationist and intelligent designer defends. And my books, okay. um, they are not, not something which is groundbreaking or new, which would yeah. have to go through peer review or something okay. like that. So the choice is yours, of course. Um, we're just trying to encourage you it's um because you like what jl said i think was a very good point you've been doing this for a long time you've amassed a lot of information a lot of the stuff that gets submitted for peer review isn't necessarily new and inventive it's just clarifying certain points and and whatnot so um uh, the the whole process of peer review is about trying to find problems with arguments so that the person who's put that together can make improvements on it and eventually come up with something that does pass peer review the scrutiny of peer review and uh, uh, is uh, something that can actually be uh, relied upon so but again the choice is yours if you don't want to do it well, that's fine no, there's no pressure from us no i don't think it is um bad intended or so or so i take it as a a, a good um in intention to 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 make that suggestion but the truth is that basically my writings, they are um, uh, expressing my belief that uh, God is the best explanation for our existence, right? And as a Christian, I believe that Christ is who he said to be. Now, I have actually tried to submit my books um, uh, not only to peer review, but also to be to be published. And... Um, it is it is very difficult, and of course uh, I won't be able to publish um, uh, my books, uh, which are positive for intelligent design, by an editor which promotes naturalism or evolution or things like that. And the thing is that I have no credentials in academia, and this is a barrier. And um, I would have to. I mean, some people have given me the suggestion to make um, uh, a university course to get a diploma or a PhD or whatever it is. And I mean, I, I don't think that I will do this. I don't see it as, as, so, a, as a way to go for me. Yeah, you got to you got to choose where your time goes. Obviously, um, the uh, um, the getting anything published is difficult to get from traditional publishers because they have so much to choose from. 
and they have uh, they can't publish everything they, they receive. They got to pick and choose, and they want to choose the things that they think are going to be be most successful. So um, yeah, yeah, you I, might I, might try talking to the folks at AIG um, Answers in Genesis. Uh, they may be interested in your works more than the scientific community uh, because what you're doing is trying to defend the uh, creationist uh, intelligent design kind of position. And well, that he's, he's going to have to come up with some observation and a testable hypothesis, and that's always been the problem with intelligent designers. Yep. No, as I, no the, as I explained, uh, ID can be tested, and I gave examples. And um, uh, well, I know people from AIG, they know my books, I've submitted to them. Wait, what's an example? Well, one is Dave Bergman. I've uh, he knows my books. I've um, submitted them to him. He likes them, but uh, no, no, no. What's an example I, of a testable hypothesis? Oh, well, um, one of the main tenets of ID is that instructional complex specified information uh, comes only from an intelligent source. No, no, no. The question was, what is a testable hypothesis? Well, I mean, it can be that claim can be tested and refuted by someone showing that this kind of information can come from a non intelligent source. Oh, I see what you're saying. No, um, in science, a testable hypothesis is something you test. You don't have other people test it. You test it yourself, you gather data, and then you write, you know, a, a story or a narrative a, around that. You might have to rinse and repeat. It's well, not It's not something you just say and then make other people do the hard work. That's not a hypothesis. You know, the, th the thing is that it has actually already Battery been done. Low. Um, it has never been demonstrated that um, a random events can produce this kind of information. Therefore, and I see that this is, um, that's why I would ca call intelligent design, not just as a hypothesis, but a theory because re repeated experiments have shown that this is the case, that on only intelligence can produce uh, instructional information. Yes. And I don't need to make new tests because it has already been done. And I am just- yeah, But what you're saying it. isn't science. That's not how science Charging operates. Battery. That's why you're not getting peer reviewed because they're just rejecting it outright because it's not in the scientific formula uh, format. As I, as I am saying, it has already been done. I don't need to repeat something which is already exposed in the scientific literature. There's no ID papers in scientific literature. It doesn't have to be a paper which comes from ID. Yes, it does. I can simply, I can simply say, as long as science is not showing that this kind of information can come by, nat by natural means, intelligent design stands. If people believe it or not, that is not my okay. problem. No, 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 I, I get you there. Like if people, general public, believe it or not, that's up to them. What I'm saying is when you're talking about not submitting a paper for peer review, that's because you're not following the process. Right now what you're saying in room is that you're just making a claim about what science is talking about and you're making them do the hard work. That's never going to get peer reviewed. That's why there are no ID papers because, I mean, you're – you're giving a brilliant representation of what intelligent design is all about, which is not science. It's just making a claim about all the hard work other people are doing. Well, as I said, I don't need to test something which has already been tested and shown that intelligent design stands. To get peer reviewed, you do. I'm not saying you like have this burden or something. I'm saying like um, if I want to drive in NASCAR, Right, there's steps I got to do. If I want to, um, if I want to join the military, there's things I have to do. I don't, I got to follow the the road. You know what I mean? Like with science, if you want to get peer reviewed, you got to act like one of the peers. See what I'm saying? That's why it's called peer reviewed. You don't just make a claim about somebody else's work, dust your hands off, and walk away and act like you're, you know, just being shot down. You're just not playing by the rules, which is make an observation that would be like when i say make an observation that would be an intelligent designer creating a biological system um then you would have to formulate a hypothesis on how the intelligent designer 
went ahead and made the biological system, then you would have to gather data about that observation and hypothesis. Then you would have to provide a theory or an explanation. And then your peers, which sounds like to me is religious people instead of scientists, where you should be focusing on science if you're going to talk about scientific peer review process, right? You would have to do all those steps and then submit it to the scientists. If you're not doing those steps, yeah, they're just going to reject it outright, even if you're right. Uh, and then insofar as like a PhD or anything like you could just get an honorary degree. You don't actually have to get a degree. You just have to be recognized as knowledgeable in the in the subject. You could you could educate yourself on biology. Um, I don't know if you are informed, but I have here, I can even send you the link, a long list of um, uh, peer-reviewed papers, and one uh, which is precisely about what I just talked about, which is specified information, is Stephen Meyer, The Origin of Biological Information and the Higher Taxonomic Categories. This is a paper which has been gone through peer review, and it has been um, published by Proceedings of the Biological Society of Washington in 2004. There are many others. So what you are saying is not true. There are many uh, peer-reviewed science papers on intelligent design. If you want oh, that's interesting. Them, um, yeah, can you, you send me the link that shows your the observation of the intelligent designer designing biology? Well, I'd, I'd definitely good. be interested in reading that. Well, maybe you are not understanding. We do not need to see God in front of our eyes creating something. And that oh, is my not bad. What, and that is I thought you were talking about some observation that you made. My bad. You're just making stuff up. Never mind. Well, no, it's not just about making things up. It is that many um, uh, science papers, they deal with historical facts. They are related to um, how things came to be in the past and not... That's not historical. How things operate. Well, I would say that um, sci uh, papers in regards of archaeology, paleontology, um, that's not archaeolo history. Archaeology, uh, not history. Biology, uh, that one's Hebrew definitely not history. These are. Do you know what history topics? means? Wow, why are you interrupting me while while I'm talking? Because you're giving me this like long, comprehensive list of non-historical topics or fields of biology or fields of science. And I was well, just kind actually, of trying to cut through well, the cheese. Well, well all these um, uh, categories, they make the questions, how did things probably come to be? How did they originate? And this is basically what abiogenesis research is about. Um, these scientists, they try to find out how life could have originated by natural means in the past. So, yes, they are. the, the topic is about... Um, events that happened in the past and they don't expect that um, th these things uh, you don't have um, uh, a time machine to go back in the past to see what happened so um, yeah you don't need one though what are you talking about environment to see things happen in front of your eyes no we don't need that what is is the path to the past in the same sense that you can look at the car and you know someone made it the question is, if you see a genetic code or DNA, how did it come to be? And there are two options. Either intelligence was involved or not. Right. And you don't have an observation of intelligence doing it. I don't so that's a failed one. hypothesis or it's a failed I, assertion, rather. No, I don't need one. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. So, like, let me give you an example. So when we dig up some fossil. Right. We say this is an animal and it existed X many years ago. We have animals today that we can make observations and them die and then fall in like tar pits or get covered by a landslide at a, you know, a delta or a volcanic eruption. Right. Like we could see the process in real time today. Right. So we're not just speculating that some fossil we dug up uh, is the result of something we have not observed. So that's that's a mistake that you're making when you try to compare that to intelligent design, because there's nothing in any of the records that even remotely suggests like an intelligent like we've never found like a, a laboratory in Precambrian or a Triassic period rock. Right. Like a, a, a biological factory. Right. Where an intelligent designer was in there with beakers and whatever. 
that you know the process of intelligently designing we've never found one of those the only laboratories and stuff that exist are the ones we build today right so it would be one thing if you guys found like the remnants of like in a cave like some laboratory or something like that 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 would be indicative of hey maybe maybe it's true maybe there is an intelligent designer out there like making biological systems you're just coming from a position of argument from incredulity that you can't understand how life could have originated in a very simplistic manner and got much more complex over time as the fossil records and the natural sciences uh, all converge and agree upon, right? All these okay, fields okay, that you okay, listed, okay, archaeology, okay. paleontology, biology, you know, okay. all okay, of those okay. fields, they all converge independently on the same message. And you're okay. looking at that message saying, well, I don't see God in that message. And the intelligent designer is absent in your message. And so I'm just going to inject that and pretend that like I'm up here, but you're not. You're just coming up with argument from incredulity from your religious foundation, and you really have nothing. That's why I started the conversation off inquiring as to why you're struggling getting into the peer-reviewed process. And if you take my advice, which is make an observation of an intelligent designer designing something, then you could get your foothold, you know, your foot in the door. But it sounds like you don't even want to do that. You just want to complain about the scientific process. And then make them all do the hard work when they're never going to do the hard work because that's not something up to the natural sciences of making an observation of anything that hasn't yet been observed. You're going to at least do that part, at least do the observation part, and then maybe a scientist will take you seriously and like do the hard work for you. Okay, so let me ask you a question. Yeah, let's suppose that in the last uh, science has made uh, all these kind of experiments and investigations in regards of life could have originated by unguided natural means. Okay, so let us suppose that today we would be uh, with a result which would very clearly show a clear path that would be indicative that it would be possible to come up with all the systems, proteins, um, information systems, and so forth, energy generation systems, um, to create a self-replicating living so cell. It's a flawed question. And, and science would um, present to the world um, uh, experiments with, with, which would be clearly indicative that this would be possible by natural means. Right? So it's a flawed question. So, so, so would you say uh, we have clear evidence that na that um, life can originate by natural means? Well, as I interjected twice, that's a flawed question. That's not a proposition no. in science. Why, 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 why is it a flawed question? It is right. a very clear question. If, if science can then demonstrate... Can I answer that, that question? Why is it a flawed question? Can yeah, I go ahead yeah. and answer that? No, I want that you answer my question and not. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to. You're asking why is it a flawed question? I would <laughs> like to do that. Why are you interrupting me while I'm talking? Because you asked a question. Because you asked a question, and I want to answer the question that you asked, and then you immediately no, interrupted you want, me. You no, know, you want to answer another question and whine that you think my question is is flawed when it's clearly not flawed. I can explain why if you chill out and let me. Okay. I'm not interested in you know, whining because I made a very concise, clear question, and you're just sidestepping. He's he's appealing like, to ignorance right now. That's crazy. Big, big. This guy's like sensitive, man. Like he's I know. he's no, about I to not, explode. I and leave. So, look, I don't need. We I don't need your input. So, Tangela, I, I would love to answer your question, but you're going to have to let me do that. Otherwise, I'm going to mute you out of the conversation. You're dismissed. So, well, what's I it going to be? I can just leave because. Okay. Bye. Bye, bye child. Bye, baby. Bye. 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 Go away. Shoot fly.